Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We have a lot of news to get to tonight. And starting in Fairport, Lynn Mazurkowicz, the wife of fallen Rochester police officer Anthony Mazurkowicz, spoke publicly for the first time at a tribute ride for her husband's service and fundraiser for officers battling PTSD. Alex Love was at that event and now joins us live from the public safety building with how it went. Alex. Absolutely. New York's True Blue chapter has put on events like these for the last couple of years, but this time they came together with the Fairport Educational Alliance to do their charity work in honor of Officer Anthony Mazurkowicz, where his wife revealed the true hero he was on duty and behind the badge. We are standing with her. Yeah. She is not alone. In the last month, since her husband was killed in the line of duty, Lynn Mazurkowicz says she has felt many emotions, but is staying strong, remembering how dedicated her husband was to serving others. While I'm angry, heartbroken, and sad, I know deep down he would have been right back at work tomorrow had he been given the chance because he loved his job. My husband lived his dream of being a police officer every day. Dozens of bikers, trucks, and decorated cars followed her speech by doing a tribute ride through town to show the Mazurkowicz family they're never alone in these hard times. It's a calling, and the families know that. They know that that person that became law enforcement, that's a calling, and it's a very difficult thing because they don't know if they're going to come back that night or not. So it's the hardest thing to do is let your loved one go away. We're in support of them, and we back them as much as we can. Um, I have little cards that I like to hand out to the police officers just to thank them for their service because they don't get enough appreciation. Other purposes for this ride were to raise money for first responders battling PTSD to make sure they get the help they need. It's raising money for LEAP, which is an organization that provides direct support to law enforcement who are suffering from PTSD and some physical ailments. If you would like... <clears throat> Excuse me, if you would like to make donations to these charities, we have their links over on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. All right, thank you very much, Alex. And the suspect of accused of killing Officer Anthony Mazurkowicz, Kel Kelvin Vickers, remains in custody at the Monroe County Jail. He's pled not guilty to all eight charges against him. His next court date is November 4th.